Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Today we will be fixing 315 screen under the Raspberry Pi 4. So first of all, we expect you to have a Raspberry Pi 4 having Raspbian OS and execute the following commands to install the driver. These commands are available in the description field. So let's go and install some heat sinks onto the CPU, RAM and the LAN. These heat sinks are available with the package. The heat sinks allow you to dissipate the heatness of the processor or the CPU when it's running in a full-fledged mode. Now go ahead and fit the screws for the base. Once all the screws are fitted, take the watches and put them on top of the base. Now take the Raspberry Pi and align it with the memory card slot and place it on top of the base so that the USB and everything are on the other side of the memory card slot. Once the Raspberry Pi sits on top of the base with all the screws coming out of the screw holes, take the nut and fix it on top of the Raspberry Pi. With all the screws fitted and the nuts tightened, the base and the Raspberry Pi looks like this. It should be very firm and sturdy. Now take the plastic valves and put it on top of the screws on the other side of the USB ports. So these support the Raspberry Pi screen. And make sure the screen display is aligned in correct format so that the fan goes on to the other side uh, where the memory card slot is placed and make sure the screen is being inserted into the first seven pins first seven GPIO pins only then the touch screen and all of the functionality works properly As the display is fitted onto the board, we'll go ahead and fix the other parts of the clear case which comes with the package. This is the side of the case which aligns with all the ports like power supply, HDMI and the auxiliary. Once both the longer sides are attached, take the shorter sides and fix the bottom ones so that the spring action helps them to put it onto the fix onto the top end latches. And make sure you're putting the right side onto the right uh, side of the Raspberry Pi so that the USB ports and the memory card slot is still accessible.
Now this completes fixing of the clear case and the display onto it. As the drivers are already installed, let's go ahead and plug in the power supply. I'm connecting the USB-C power supply, the original charger. Let's wait for it to boot. We should see all the commands going on on the screen and uh, yeah, uh, general booting of the Raspbian OS. And make, please keep in mind that it only works with the Raspbian OS as of now, as we have installed the screen drivers only on the Raspbian OS. And it works, it, it, it works okay with the hand, but it works very good with the stylus or a touch pen. Also, you can see once the case is perfectly fitted, it's very good to use it just like this with all the ports accessible and the case protecting the device. Here I'm using my Surface Pen to control the touch with more precision. You can use anything which you're comfortable with. I'll go ahead, try to plug in a speaker and play some music for you. Also the Raspberry Pi has an auxiliary port. It makes it much more convenient to attach it to any speaker or earphones. So that's it for today guys, I hope you liked the video, please like, share and subscribe. I'll be back with another one soon. Thank you.